Number 71. What mass of a solid sodium hydroxide, so NaOH, which is 97.0% NaOH by mass, is required to prepare 1.00 liters of a 10.0% solution of sodium hydroxide by mass? And they tell us that the density of the 10% solution is 1.109. Okay. Now, I keep seeing the same thing coming up, right? They're asking for a mass of something. They gave me a percent by mass. They gave me a percent solution by mass. So we're basically going to be doing the percent by mass formula, right? At least we have to do that, right? There might be some other things, but at least we know where we're going. The percent uh, mass formula is like any other percent formula. It's part over whole, but it's more specific. It's this guy right here. So a percent mass of anything is mass on the top, right, divided by mass on the bottom. So we have to be dealing all in grams here, or kilograms, right, but usually grams are going to be what we're dealing with. But the difference is that the part is now called the solute, and the total, the whole, is called the solution. Remember, your solution is just your solute plus your solvent, okay? So a solution is the total. I kind of remember this by counting the letters in all three of these. There are six letters in solute, there are seven letters in solvent, and there are eight letters in solution. So it makes sense that this would be the smallest, which you place into the bigger guy to create the total, right? The biggest thing, which is a solution. But it's still, you know, part over whole. So let's see, what information do we know the most of? Well, we're looking for a mass of solid NaOH, which is 97.0%. But now they're telling us that we do have one liter of a 10% solution. So I do have more information about this, uh, this percentage, right? Since the question is asking for this mass. But the thing is, is that, you know, they gave us, we, well, we have to use mass values, but they gave us a liter. Aye. That's a volume. They're telling us that the volume of the solution, right? Just be careful. This is a one liter solution. So the volume of the solution is 1.00 liters. But the formula only allows masses, a.k.a. grams. So I have to convert the 1.00 liters somehow into grams. And then I could plug it in on the bottom. Oh, that's why they gave me the density, right? From before, remember, density equals mass divided by volume, right? So I'm going to be using that formula. But before you do that, you have to make sure that your volume units match. The density, which they told us, which was 1.109 grams per mil, the mass is going to be in grams when we find it, and that's perfect because, you know, we were going to use grams. But the volume needs to be in mils. Uh-oh. So the first thing I have to do is I first have to convert my liters into milliliters in order to get into the density formula. Well, how do we go from liters to mils? We know that conversion, right? It's just multiplying by a thousand. So I'm just going to take my one times by a thousand, and now I have 1,000 mils. Now I can use the density formula. Now you can do it as D equals M over V, right? And See if you get the same answer. I'm just going to rearrange this formula just for time's sake, right? And if I just solve for my mass, which is what I want, all we have to do is density times the volume. So the mass is going to be the 1.109. And now I don't put the units in because I already double checked them before I plugged in my numbers. So I know I have the right units. And then times by the 1,000. OK. When we do that, this is uh, 1,109 grams. And since it came from a solution volume, this is the grams of the solution. 
oh, so now I have this. I have the solution mass, right? This is the same thing as 1,109 grams of my solution. Oh, and they tell me that it's a 10% solution. Oh, so I have this. I have this. This is standard. Oh, so I can solve for my mass of my solute. Cool. Let's do it. 10.0 equals something over something times 100. I don't know my solute mass, which is what they're trying to solve for, right? Divided by the 1,109 grams, and then times by 100. So let's do it. Let's divide by 100 to get rid of that 100, and then it becomes like a simple ratio. So this is 0 0.1 equals x over 1,109, cross multiplication, I get x equals, I think this is 11, uh, 0.1, oh no, this is 100, 0.1 times 1109, yeah, okay, 110.1, and that's grams of my solute. Okay. Now, we finished this part out. From this information, we found out that we needed 110.9 grams of solution. Now, in this case, we need to find out the mass of the solid, NaOH, which is now 97.0. So, I'm going to use this information with now the new percentage and see which one I'm gonna solve for. So pause the video if you need to. I'm just going to erase this part just because I need a little bit more room, all right? But if you need to write it down, just pause it. But bye-bye. <laughs> so now let's see. I have this information. This is a standard. They now give me 97%, so I have this. What are we going to solve for? <gasps> That's right, the solution mass. And then we're good to go. So we just got to do two of these, basically. So now I'm going to say 97.0 equals some ratio times 100. This goes now on the top. And then the x goes on the bottom. Solving. I divide by 100, I divide by 100, this cancels out, now I get 0 0.97 equals 110.9 divided by x. This is cross multiplication, right? So 0 0.97 times x equals 110.9, and then we're almost at the answer, guys. Divide by 0.97, and let's just see what we get. 110.9 divided by 0.97. Woohoo! I'm going to put it right in the middle. X equals uh, 114. Point. Actually, if we're doing sig figs, the lowest number of sig figs in the beginning was three. So technically, I'm only allowed to add three sig figs. I don't care about sig figs personally, but your professor or teacher might. And that's the answer 114 grams was needed. Okay, so just notice that we basically did two of these. We used the answer in the first one to solve for what we actually wanted. And that's it, guys. All right? So give this video a like if it helped you out. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for so much for that. And I hope you guys are all having a great day. It's currently snowing uh, where I am, so that's pretty cool. You know, doing videos on a snowy day. Nothing better than that. <laughs> Um, I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. See you then. Bye.